Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today the feast day of Blessed Justo Takayama Ukon. He was a Christian Japanese who was exiled here in Manila. And he died here in Intramuros on this very day in the year 1615. He was received with kindness by Filipinos and therefore we ask also that he be kind to us today and intercede for our petitions in heaven. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength.
you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift, blessed Justo Takayama Ukon fought for righteousness' sake even until death. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that we may bear every adversity for the sake of your love and hasten with all strength towards you who alone are life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled. For God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand.
Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread. And people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias the wife of his brother, Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request, I want you to give me at once, on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we are reminded of Christian hospitality. Not only of Filipino hospitality. Hospitality is not just a Filipino trait. It is part and parcel of Christian spirituality. Ang pagtanggap sa mga bisita, ang pagiging mabuti sa hindi mo man lang kamag-anak o kakilala, yan po ay bahagi ng ating pagiging hindi lamang Pilipino, kundi pagiging Kristiyano. That is the story 
of Blessed Justo Takayama Ukon. He was received here with Filipino and Christian hospitality. And we are reminded of this in our readings today when in our first reading from the letter to the Hebrews, the community of Christians were reminded, let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it, some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful, he said, of prisoners and those who are ill-treated. Wag daw nating kalilimutan ang hospitality, ang kabutihan, lalo na sa mga hindi natin kakilala, sa mga dayuhan, kahit sa mga nasa piitan at doon sa mga lalong pinahihirapan. Be kind and hospitable to them. That is part of following Jesus, of being a disciple of Jesus. And we will see this hospitality not only to the living, but even to those who have died. In our gospel reading today, we usually hear this reading and be reminded of Herod and his violence against John the Baptist. But I would like also to point out towards the end of the gospel, the disciples of John the Baptist who came, got his body, and laid it in a tomb. Burying the dead is one of our kindness to people. And we see all these things in the story of Blessed Husto Takayama Ukon. He was a Christian, a Japanese, who was a ruler in Japan, a powerful person. But when he was asked to defy and renounce his Catholic faith, he refused. He was exiled here together with his Christian followers. And he arrived here in Manila. And upon arriving at the port of Manila, alam niyo kung saan siya dumiretso? Dito sa Manila Cathedral. To say prayers and give thanks to God through a te deum here in the Cathedral of Manila. And he was welcomed by the people of Manila with open arms. He was received by the Jesuit community. And when he died, 44 days after coming here to Manila, he was buried here in the Jesuit church in the Jesuit place. Filipinos at that time were kind to him. We showed him kindness by being hospitable and welcoming him. And so now, we pray to him that he also may be kind to us and pray for our petitions. He was recently beatified, and now we are waiting for a miracle to happen through his intercession so that he could be fully canonized as a saint. That is why later, after the Mass, I will be blessing all of you with a relic, a piece of the clothing of Blessed Husto Takayama Ukon. Baka ikaw na ang hinihintay na miracle ni Blessed Takayama so that he would be fully canonized as a saint. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been kind 
and hospitable to blessed Takayama as a people. And now, we are sure that He will also show us His kindness by praying and interceding for us on our behalf. Amen. Please stand. Our struggle against the forces of evil will be successful to the degree we unite ourselves in prayer. Let us pray to the God of truth as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church, like St. John, may become courageous proclaimers of the gospel of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give wholehearted support to the church's struggle against those dark forces that enslave men to violence and crime. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as Christians, we may be vocal in our concern against those who exploit and for those who are exploited through political pressure and corrupt practices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and the intentions offered in this Mass through the powerful intercession of Blessed Takayama Ukon. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate your blessed martyr, Takayama Ukon when no temptation could separate from the unity of the body of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up 
your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Made new by these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that imitating the wondrous constancy of blessed Takayama Ukon, we may merit an eternal reward for suffering endured. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the Mass, we will be uh, bringing down the relic of Blessed Justo Takayama Ukon. You may fall in line at the middle of the cathedral. You may venerate and pray in front of the relic of Blessed Takayama. And uh, we ask for his intercession and uh, for any answered prayers and miracles received through the intercession of Blessed Takayama, please write to the Manila Cathedral and we will forward all of these for the cause of his canonization. So we are waiting and praying for a miracle so that he could be declared as a saint in the Catholic Church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.